you guys, welcome back to Raising Wellness. I'm so excited to have you guys here for another new moon meditation and just discussion. I really wanna open up this space for a place to talk about your dreams and goals and the energy of the new and the full moon. So if you have been liking these videos, make sure to give this video a like so I know to make more of them and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so that you can get alerted every time I come out with new and full moon meditations alongside other videos about mindfulness, creativity, organization, and meditation. So without further ado, let's jump right into this new moon in February 2019 in Aquarius. time to plant those seeds. Think of the sky. It's The moon's not there. It's big, blank, open canvas for you to plant those seeds of intention. And with this new moon in Aquarius, the energy of Aquarius is very um, bright, rebellious, innovative. It's also um, a sign that is very future seeing, has optimistic ideals of the future. Um, so just pay attention to where your mind is at. My mind recently has been very much future oriented and that has a lot to do with this new moon in Aquarius is, is seeing that future, seeing that optimistic future and a lot of times it's going to be completely unconventional and maybe very community oriented and just be um, aware of what comes up, what may come up may surprise you and surprise those around you too. So just allow yourself to be present with it and we're gonna cover that a lot in the meditation later in this video. But it's important for you right now to take time to get to know yourself, discover yourself. Um, you know, who are you without the rule book? Who are you without other people? Without any barriers? Or layers on you who are you really on the inside without anyone else discover that for yourself and that's gonna help you a lot during this full moon and especially get clear about who you are with your money and your relationships in your life um, maybe there's people in your life that are no longer serving you or that you need to kind of rework the relationship so that it, it suits more of who you truly are on the inside. And also get clear about your money and how you're using your money, how um, what your relationship is with money, you know, what do you say about money in your head all day? What are those affirmations, good or bad, that you're saying in your head all day long about money and about your relationships? And just be aware that old scripts may come up. Those those scripts that have been following you around for a really long time and just observe them. Um, get curious about them. Do they serve you still? Do they no longer serve you? After we do this meditation is a really good time to to ask those questions of yourself and just observe what comes up. Do you still want to hold on to that fear or hesitation or do you still want to hold on to that optimistic view of something that you have in your life? What is it that is no longer serving you that you can get rid of? And this is really a time right now where we can get rid of a lot of things and step into that new space of ourselves, truly who we are, and start building a future in that direction rather than in a direction of those old scripts or those things that are no longer serving you. It's a great opportunity to get insights into your life right here and now and into that future life that you want to build. So just observe, be conscious of what's occurring, what's coming up in your mind, what you're dealing with face to face with other people and with your money, those kinds of things. And what's really, really going to help you is after this meditation where I help you get clear on who you are, what your deepest desires and wishes are, and your vision for your future, is to just trust that that vision is coming to fruition. So it's a lot like our tarot card reading that we had for the Raising Wellness community earlier this month, it is to just trust that what is meant for you is coming for you, and to be patient with your vision, you know, not try to 
try not to have that internal conflict of comparing yourself or seeing someone else as doing what you wanted to do and doing it ahead of you. You know, just be patient that your vision is, is coming to fruition in the best time that it can for you and for what is important for you, that vision that you have for your truest self, your truest, deepest desires and wishes. And rather than, after you set your intentions for this month, rather than pushing and, and forcing those things to come to fruition, find the places where you can surrender, where you can let go. Um, it's, it's way more about letting go of what is no longer serving you than it is about pushing to create. You know, it's, it's really about surrendering. And I want you to take that into account when we do this meditation today and throughout the rest of your day when you're um, pondering what you've learned here. You know, what is coming up for you? Observe what's coming up. Surrender to it and observe it and just be patient with your vision. So we're going to jump into the meditation now and I hope you guys really enjoy it. Again, don't forget to give this a like or a subscribe if you want to see more of these new moon and full moon videos. I would love to hear how they've been helping you, so make sure you write some stuff in the comments. And stay tuned after the meditation for one little last tidbit about this new moon that's really important for you to help bring that vision and feel that truest sense of you in your reality. So let's jump right into it. Welcome to the meditation portion of this video. If you haven't already, please find a comfortable seated position with your head held high up to the sky. Once you find that comfortable seated position, just take a deep inhale in through the nose and as you do, rise your shoulders up towards your ears and exhale out the mouth, letting your shoulders drop down and back, relaxing in their sockets. your eyes gently closed and your shoulders relaxed. Take another deep breath in through the nose. Open your mouth, let it go. Allowing yourself to simply arrive here. Mind, body, and spirit. Take another deep breath in through the nose. Open your mouth. Let it all go. Surrendering to this present moment here with yourself. Here with your mind. Arriving here with your body. And here with your spirit. We're going to begin this meditation just connecting to the breath. So bring your awareness, this curious awareness, to the tip of your nose. And just begin to observe the sensation of your inhales and your exhales as they flow through your nostrils, observing your inhales, centering your mind and observing your exhales. Becoming ever more present of your breath.
observing the inflow, centering your mind and observing the outflow of breath. Now drop that awareness down into your chest and connect here for a moment with your heartbeat. The rhythm of that organ that keeps you alive in every single moment. Just connect. Observe the beating of your heart. Allowing yourself to become ever more present of this moment here and now. Simply observing your heartbeat as it is. Centering yourself right here and right now with your breath and the beating of your individual heart. Just allow yourself to connect and be present and grounded in what is right here, right now. Continuing to practice this presence of observing yourself, staying grounded in your breath and your heartbeat. If there are ever thoughts that arise, instead of being pulled onto those thought trains of future or past, just allow yourself to breathe. Stay grounded in the breath and simply observe those thoughts that surface. Observing the thoughts by staying grounded in your breath. Being mindful of your heartbeat. Let's just bring our awareness back up to the tip of our noses. Connect again with that sensation of the inflow and outflow of your breath. Let yourself fully feel the sensation of your breath. Every single sensation of the inflow and every single sensation of the outflow of breath.
And throughout this meditation, using that breath to center yourself, if you ever find that you have gotten lost on a thought train, come back to the breath. Come back to observing the breath in the heartbeat. Now I ask of you to just simply observe whatever thoughts arise with these questions that I will ask you. Remembering to stay grounded and centered with your breath and your heartbeat so that you may simply observe whatever surfaces. First question, who am I? Just allow yourself to be curious of this question. Observe whatever arises, whatever thoughts arise, whatever feelings arise. Simply observe them. Come to know them. Who am I? Take a deep breath in through the nose. Open your mouth and let it go. Let go of that first question. Let go of whatever thoughts or feelings arose. Making space for our second question. Take a deep breath in through the nose, being mindful of that sensation, and a deep breath out through the nose, centering yourself again in your breath. And your second question. What no longer serves me? Observe whatever thoughts or feelings arise. 
trying to not control whatever thoughts or feelings arise and instead simply surrendering to what does. Observing what surfaces. What no longer serves me. breath in through your nose, open your mouth and let it go, releasing whatever came up, making space for your third and final question. Take a deep breath in through the nose, remembering the sensation of being connected to your breath, and exhale out the nose, grounding in this stillness and connection. And your third question. What is my vision for my life and the world? Deep breath in through the nose. Deep breath out through the nose, connecting to your breath. What is my vision for my life and the world?
a deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth and let it go. Do that one more time. Deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth and let it all go. Deep breath in through your nose. Deep breath out through your nose. And just bring your hands up to your heart center. Moving slowly. Waking up the fingers and hands and wrists. Just take a moment here of gratitude for yourself. Gratitude for your vision, for who you are, right here and right now. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And as you exhale out through the nose, send that energy of your breath down into your toes, giving them a gentle wiggle and movement. And bringing that movement up to your ankles. Just moving ever so slowly, waking up the body. And now bring that movement up to your shoulders. Slowly waking up your body with these gentle movements. Take one final deep inhale through the nose. Open your mouth and let it go. Ready, gently open your eyes, taking in the light, the space around you. Alright you guys, thank you so much for taking this time on yourself to get clear find that bigger, bolder vision, and just to practice and build that muscle of observance. Thank you guys all so much for being here, for taking this time on yourself. And the last tidbit that I do want to leave you with about this new moon, February 2019 in Aquarius, is that it wants you to take action. So make sure you journal after this video, write down what came up for you, what it is you want to let go of, you know, what are those seeds of intention that you want to be planting for this month to then harvest on the full moon and also a big harvest six months from now. So 
make sure that you write those intentions down and take action on them immediately. But remember to do it with um, a more feminine, passive energy, knowing and trusting that that vision is coming to you and you don't have to force or push anything. So take action from that space, from a place of surrender, from a place of trust and faith, rather than pushing and forcing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can't wait to come out with our full moon video for this month for all of you raising wellness beauties. And I will see you in the next video. I'm sending you so much love and so much gratitude wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you next time.